You see, whenever you declare the good news and share the word of God, the things that you are sharing, it will come from God and it come from God. Some people might say, Pastor, I didn't go to any Bible school. Did I did Jesus Christ. Pastor, but I have no formal education in, in, in interpreting the Bible. Peter didn't. He doesn't even have any qualification. You know who are the people who have qualification in interpreting the Bible? It's they were called the Pharisees. You know what the, 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 the terms for the, the name of the people who go to college or go to school and serve the Lord because of their education and merit? You know what they're called? They are called Pharisees and scribes. So if you see a pastor who rely on his education in preaching the word, you call him a pastor, you call him Pharisee. Because God said, we are to share the gospel called Not only the pastor. If people, your pastor forbids you to share the gospel and say, I am the only one who has to, don't believe him. Who do you think Jesus Christ is talking to this? Here. It's only to be that no. He's talking to us. It is our responsibility to share the gospel and put a wow in Jesus Christ's lips. Wow, that message came from God. And he said, the gates of Hades will not overpower you. In other words, on you, my authoritative apostle and my inspired proclaimer of the gospel will build my church. I will build my church on the apostolic word. In other words, when he said that, and upon this rock, I will build my kingdom and it will not even triumph. You have no excuses, or we have no excuses, why not to share the word of God? When Jesus Christ already promised that we will overcome whatever shortcomings we have. Pastor, I don't have the, the proper education, or the proper, I'm not, I couldn't speak English properly. God said no. Not even Hades can overcome you. If you don't know how to speak in English, I will tell you, my spirit will tell you, my spirit will empower you. Not even the highest of the gates of hell can prevail over you. You just go there and spread the gospel. I, you know what, church, to those people who are new here, when we empower the Holy Spirit, when we let the Holy Spirit empower these people, you know what happened? We were surprised. I was, I, I am a pastor for, for almost more than 15, almost 20 years now. In Kuwait, I always have a tendency to go to the place and to evangelize, to meet people, and to lead people in accepting the Lord Jesus Christ. I have to travel, I have to, to, to set a goal, and I know we have to do it in Kuwait City, we have to go there and evangelize, and lead people in accepting the Lord. But you know what? When we just open ourselves and say, Lord, let thy perfect will be done, let thy spirit empower us. We believe that not even the gates of hearts will prevail over us, not even our poor English, even my Karawal English, even my F becomes P, and my P becomes F, and my E becomes she, and she becomes he. It will be okay. And you know what God what happened? God Himself brought people to this church to accept the Lord Jesus Christ Amen. as His Lord and personal Savior. Amen. You see the posting in Facebook? Every week people are being led to Christ. Two, three, four, five. Reggie, where's Reggie? Reggie, you were just driving along Highway 16 and you saw a person who was in tracking. And what happened after that? He accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as his Lord and personal Savior. Right? Because he picked up his cross. Remind me of the ticket. And the meal that you spent for this time. Because he denied himself and picked up his cross. God knows he's ready. God knows he's an open vessel.
yourself waiting for something to happen. Lord, I'm here free. Please bring me. Use me. Abuse me. No, not abuse. Use me mightily. Empower me. Wow. There was a time that we were we were in one service at Torp Recovery Center. We asked this man, we prayed for him and accepted him. And the day he left the recovery center, I received a phone call from him and he was crying. Man, an old man, man of him, I think 55 years old, he was crying on the phone. And he said, Pastor, I never realized in my life that I will be of something of, of some value to God. I never realized it. Because today I led many people in accepting the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is just a person who accepted the Lord Jesus Christ less than a month ago. For the wages of sin is dead, but the gift of God is eternal life. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Man, since then, the empowerment of the Spirit and we open the church, miraculous things, supernatural things happen. We ask for something and the next thing will happen. Lord God, we need a church. After two weeks, we have a church. Lord God, we need chairs. We do not. I was talking to someone, to Patrick Bobe and Ethel. Now we have a place, but we don't have chairs. We don't have any equipment. Okay? The next day, I received a call from Patrick. I don't know, after two days, I received, Pastor, we already have chairs. You know what happened? They put an auction. 100 black chairs, exactly the things that you need, the one that you're using right now. Wow. Lord God, you are just opening things for us. Okay, we need to clean the place. We have to renovate the basement. After several days, I received a call from Patrick Pastor. Someone offered for a cheap money 40 foot of uh, wood and lumber. We can now build and restore the basement of this church. All for the to say the Lord of us. But the same thing. Oh, Pastor, do you know that they're also selling this battle alarm system? Five boxes. I bought six boxes for five dollars. <laughs> I told Patrick, I think I need the Ferrari. <laughs> no, you don't need that. You want it. <laughs> you do not need that. Wow. Church, all you have to do is to open your heart. God will provide. You know why? Because he is committed in building a church. <laughs> he is committed in helping you. He said again, and I will repeat it, seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Amen. When Sally and Jenny and I started Acts in Kuwait, we were just along a hallway going to the toilet. Toilet. We do not even possess any tools, any instrument, nothing. 
What we have is the vision that God has given to us. Church. I just give glory to God for giving us a place like this. For many has tried to achieve it and get it. God provided it for us. Because what we ask is just a place that we can worship Him according to His will and Spirit. Again, I will repeat this message. God is very good in being God. In fact, He's the only one who can be God as God. He is the only one who has the capacity to be God. Why not we just put whatever God contains in the hands of God? And leave it as such. Why don't we just leave our cares and worries to the person or to the being that is very good in providing for the solution of that is true? Amen. This is the last point. Christ is committed in gathering his church from all people. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Remember the message of Jim, brother Jim, and he sent the message. Filipinos, you are not here just to work and send money to the Philippines. Filipinos, we have a job to remind our fellow Canadians, our brethren, of the love that they lost. We have the responsibility now to become a missionary to them. We have the responsibility and the plan was laid before us to evangelize Canada. And God is calling you to, to be a part of that. That is why God gave us this mission. What more have about this our teacher? I will just I just want to show you. This is a cross. Means something, by the way. This is this is not Nike. My wife said, "It is a logo of Nike." I asked before Asani to draw this one. This is a net that signifies that we are fishers of men, and we will bring that fish, that men, towards the cross, towards the river. We will catch them harvest them and bring them closer to God. What is Acts vision? Read my back. Can you read it? Or you can read that. But when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you will be filled with the power and you will be with witnesses for me in Jerusalem, in all today, Samaria, and in the ends of the world. That is the vision of this church. That is why we have this building. Because we will be training people. We will be empowering them. And let the Holy Spirit teach them. And we will go forth. And we will go out of this building. And we will be our lives.
first gave, his name is Christ. It doesn't mean that when someone passed away close to us, it doesn't mean that it will not touch us. I know the feeling because I lost my dad 15 years ago. It's still now, but back to that, I said, Why? Hope that I can spend more time. Share the word of God and minister to him. I wasn't able to do it. You see, God knows my desire. And God knows what inside your heart when he was sick. Most probably he was there before his death. Because God said in the Bible, believe in the Lord, you and your household will be saved. In the same way Jesus Christ led all into accepting him as his Lord and personal. I believe that that thing happened to your God. And church, I would like to invite you. Can we just pray for the family of our brother? I would just like to ask you to point your hand. Heavenly Father, our God, to lose someone we love is painful. Some people are going to consider it as a tragedy. Today, Lord God, we will rest everything upon your care and your permission. I lift unto you, Lord God, the lives of the family of my brother here. May you give them, Lord God, and return to him the joy, Lord God, that you once showed to him. The joy of being a son of a caring father. That whatever Lord God is missing from his land, Lord Jesus Christ, allow him, Lord God, to feel it. Let him, Lord God, leave Lord God alive, knowing that they, he has a father. He has brothers and sisters. But your love knows no end. The death. It's not the end, but the start of a new life. Him being a son of yours, as you promised, Lord God, that this household will be saved. We thank you, Lord God, for we believe that this father is with you.